Hey everybody, I'm Graham Boyd, Xbox Live's AC Bongos, and I'm here at Xbox to talk about why Xbox One is built for the future. And I found just the man to tell me all about it. It's Albert Pinello, Director of Product Planning on Xbox. One of the things we're talking about more than we have in the past is cloud, mm -hmm. right? What, what does cloud really mean? And, and are there tangible examples that we can, we can really bring to life for people? Things like dedicated servers, your save games, your identity, the content that you've purchased being able to travel with you. There's intangible benefits with things like cloud processing, and it's an idea that over time, they can start offloading some of the compute onto the cloud. So one of the great benefits of the cloud for me is that I can take my profile wherever I go, right? Not just your profile, but your pins, your home screen, your content, your save games, your achievements. Basically any Xbox One anywhere in the world is your Xbox. So we've got an all new and improved Kinect with every Xbox One as well. What are the benefits of that? The technology behind the new Kinect is advanced and as big of a leap from the Xbox 360 Kinect as the new console is. Mm -hmm. We have an IR blaster in Kinect that essentially translates my voice commands into IR commands. When I say Xbox on, it will actually power up my TV, it'll actually power up my cable box, it'll power up my amp. When I say Xbox mute, it'll mute my television. The system will function without Kinect. You will be able to play games and watch entertainment with just a controller. But for instance, things like Xbox record that, where we actually can record the last 30 seconds of gameplay video. Xbox, Snap, Skype. Those types of things are so much faster with your voice and with the natural interaction than they would be using a traditional controller. And another thing that's gonna save time and kind of ease some complications is Connect recognizing who's in the room, who's engaged with the experience, and who's holding which controller as well, right? Connect can actually recognize up to six different people. And because we have an array microphone, we can actually zoom in on who's talking and just listen to those commands. And since it knows what controller you're holding, you don't have to worry about, am I player one or I'm player two? And we can switch controllers in the middle of the game and still be playing the same character. Connect is really the thing that makes every Xbox your Xbox. So the features of smart glass that people are used to using on Xbox 360 are still there, but there's also a bunch of new stuff, right? There's really three things that we think about with smart glass. We think about discovery the ability to look at content across the platform, pin it on the go, and then have it be available on my Xbox when I get home. Look at your game DVR clips, being able to check achievements. You can browse the entire catalog of, of games and entertainment on Xbox One on Smart Glass. There's also control. You can navigate the dash, you can navigate your Blu-ray movies. And then finally, the thing that a lot of gamers will use, which is the interaction between the games. And, and the two that really strike me as pushing the envelope of Smart Glass from a gaming perspective are what Crytek is doing with Rise and what Capcom's doing with Dead Rising 3. The way that we're integrating Smart Glass into gameplay is with taking the entire user interface of the game and then letting you use it on the go. With our features like Timeline and the Multiplayer Challenge, you can sit on the bus, browse through that stuff, see where exactly where your friends are, get their details, set up a new match for us to play that night. I can browse my collectible videos, look at executions, customize my character, all without necessarily being connected to the console. Being able to tap into Smart Glass has been a lot of fun for the team, but you know we're hardcore gamers and we want something that's gonna be additive to the experience and not like intrusive or obstructive. When that evolved into, we should just make your phone a phone and you get calls. So you get like mission calls on your Smart Glass device. You'll actually hear a little voice in there and you'll have, it has its own story and has its own characters. And as you complete these missions, you get more out of the narrative, you get more out of the missions, you get more content to explore. Being built for the future is one of the principles that we had when we built the Xbox One platform. One of the things that we've done around our architecture is to have the game environment and the system environment be separate from each other. And we wanted to build a system that preserved the best of console gaming so that developers can write to the metal, they can continue to optimize, they can continue to build better looking games, better playing games over time, and also have this part of the system reserved for the future. It doesn't take away from games. It allows you to have things accessible instantly and running in the background. The way we've built the platform was specifically designed to think about a future state and being the most powerful platform to enable these types of new experiences.